the reason that we're asking and all of you can identify with this this is a really good conversation that we're on the brink of so as you are in the action mode of doing whatever you're doing let's just for sake of this example for a moment here let's assume that you are in alignment that nothing has gone on and your mind isn't wandering and that you really are having one of those moments where it's you and your inner being enjoying working through you your inner being is enjoying your physicality and your focus and your accomplishment and your expansion and your evolution the reason that we ask the question is because we would not if we were standing in your physical shoes want our mind to be wandering about a lot of things beyond what we are doing because the now is richer and the momentum will become more and the results of that faster momentum will be a, a more fulfilling high to you if you do not allow yourself to be distracted by other thoughts now seems to you like even listening to a recording of a gathering like this would be conducive to alignment but we want you to consider this is being in this moment we've been talking about that a lot just now feeling the power of your now which is all of your physical senses intertwined with the knowing of your inner being you being an extension of source energy flowing through you is your relationship with that source energy who's powerfully focused with you in your now a better focus than listening to another person talking about whatever they're talking to next door or even listening to Abraham talking to other people about other things it is indeed <sighs> And it is indeed to the degree where I'll take the creation and show my wife who I'm doing this business for how perfect it came out. And I'm thinking, these are not my hands making this happen. Because if I had to do it with my hands, otherwise it's luck and I get too much luck and I'm just... They okay. are your hands being guided by your greater mind. Esther enjoys watching construction often she's driving down the road and sees a big old yellow contraption of some kind and she'll say why don't I have one of those because she just loves the leverage that they have and how much they can accomplish in a short period of time and she is so impressed with the operators of these machines and she has used these words so many times that machine is an extension of that man's mind it's as if his fingers attached to his very arm the way he's able to move it and pick up small things with it she just loves watching someone that is at one with a piece of equipment like that and we're wanting to in a sort of sketchy sense liken that to your inner being who is exploring through the details of that which you are you have the dexterity you have the leading edgeness but your inner mind your inner being has the big picture and the confidence and the knowing and knows everything that you've put into the vortex and so knows the full vision of what you have in mind so this is your creation but it is our co-creation you see what we're getting at and we're just wanting you and you've already accomplished it we want you to feel the bigness and the desirability of that kind of connection versus just letting your mind wander we want you to feel more of who you are in the now when you're ordering your lunch or when you're visiting with a person or when you're driving your vehicle down the road or when you're visiting with your children or whatever it is that you're doing in your now let yourself be the extension the co-creative partner of that broader self because everything that you want is because of moments like that you just have forgotten how it is that you accomplish that you see it's focus it's staying in your lane it's momentum it's understanding of the laws of the universe it's alignment it's receptive mode it's getting into the receptive mode and then it's getting to the receptive mode and then